What is up guys? Today we're gonna do something a lot of you have requested. We're gonna teach you another free kick technique and today you're gonna learn the most effective technique that I know of and on my best days I score about 90% of my free kicks using this technique. So this shot kind of combines curve and also dip and the goal is not always to get it top ins. You just want to get it over the wall with quite a bit of dip and curve so it makes it difficult for the keeper. So now I have placed the ball about 25 meters out from the goal and usually what I would do in this situation is take about three to four steps back kind of depending on how far out it is you know if it's closer maybe I'll just take three if it's further out maybe four you know and I stand at like a 45 degree angle these are obviously just guidelines not something you have to follow like a religion but I would recommend you to try out something similar to this you just want to look at the keeper maybe it's more likely that it covers the near post maybe it's more likely to cover the far post but usually You'd want to go near post, over the wall, and using that dip. The next step is mastering the run-up, and most of the time I only use three steps. First my left, then my right, and then I obviously place my left foot next to the ball before I strike it. My run-up is relatively calm, but what you will notice is that my heels do not touch the ground before I place my standing foot. So that is something to keep in mind, run up on your toes and stay light on your feet. Usually, your standing foot would also point in the direction that you want the shot to go, but since we're curving the ball, your standing foot should point a little bit to the right of where you actually want the ball to go, and obviously, if you're left footed, it's just the other way around. As for the strike itself, I try to hit the ball with this part of my foot, mostly the instep but also a mix between the toes and the laces. You pretty much want to hit the dead center of the ball, maybe just a little bit to the side and underneath so that you can get it over the wall. It is also very important to lock your ankle and keep the toes of your kicking foot pointing a little bit upwards. This will help generating topspin which makes the ball go over the wall and then dip into the goal. Next up is the follow through and how you position your body during the shot. Firstly, make sure to keep your body over the ball as this will prevent it from going sky high. The follow through is kind of a mix between what you would do when dipping and also curving the ball. So you bring your striking foot across your body, even past your standing foot. But if you only bring your foot to the side, you will pretty much just get curved. So if you want more dip on the ball, you also need to bring your striking foot a little bit up from the ground. And finally, you want to cancel your follow through either by jumping or by sliding away on your standing foot. After doing this, I usually land back on my right foot. Playing on a snowy pitch is obviously not ideal, but here are some clips that will convince you how effective this technique can be. That one might actually be like a perfect free kick. Throughout the years on YouTube, I've tried a bunch of different free kick techniques, but this one is definitely the most consistent one. And if I ever was to take a free kick in game, it is definitely the one I would choose if it is around 16 to like 25 meters out. Thank you guys so much for watching the video. We really hope you learned something. And if you did, make sure to leave a like on the video. Let's go for 1000 and we might make more tutorials like this in the future. And also subscribing to the channel is totally free. A lot of you watch our videos but are not subscribed. So make sure to do that to stay up to date to all our latest videos. That's all guys. Thank you so much for watching. Peace. Keep in mind that practicing a technique like this can obviously take some time, but if you have any questions at all, leave them in the comments and we'll get an answer out to you.